in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create your own credit card using adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is Jam, and as i mentioned today we're going to be creating our very own credit and debit cards using adobe photoshop and for the card that we're going to be designing today we're going to be putting it on a credit or debit card mock-up and that mock-up that we're going to be using today is one that i got from envata elements now this video is sponsored by envata elements but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on so let's go ahead and jump into photoshop and start designing all right so here we are in adobe photoshop inside the photoshop file that we got from envata elements with this mock-up and they gave us 11 different looks so when you download this mock-up i'll put the link in the description so you can download it from Envata elements as well and if you want to design with me i'm using look number seven and remember as i said they gave us 11 looks 11 different scenes of credit and debit cards that we can use for portfolio purposes to pitch to clients if you want to get bank clients or if you want to just diversify our portfolio so I'm using look number seven and if you look over here in our layers you'll see that the first layer says delete this layer right so I can just go ahead and turn it off and here you'll see this is the look of our credit cards right and if I open this group right here that's highlighted it says mock-up right and if I scroll down I look I see another group that says customize this group right here and if I scroll down some more you'll see another group within that group that says paste your design here right and you have two smart objects here your design one and your design two so all we're going to be doing today is just double clicking on your design one and then we're going to do all our designing in here and we're doing the same for your design two now your design two is the one that's on top if you were to turn it off you'll see that that's your design two so let's go ahead and start working on that one first so all i'm going to be using today is just the logo of a bank here in my country and I'm going to be using a photo for like the card background and I'm just going to use like the chip, the, the, the security chip. I, I got a PNG image, a transparent background image off of that, off the internet, as well as the Visa or MasterCard logo. It's up to you, right? So let's go ahead and bring in all our assets and then let's start designing. So I'm bringing in all my assets. I'm literally just dragging them all in onto my layer 02, which is um, your design number two. And this is the photo that I was talking about earlier. That will be the background of my design, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and turn all of this off. I'm going to turn off the checkered background because it's just a placeholder, right? And what I'm going to be doing is just going back to my main project and hitting Control Shift and S to save my project, right? And I'm going to name it LSPV 096 Credit Card Mockup, right? Well, let's write Credit Debit Card Mockup because it can be used as either one, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and click save and then okay and now I can go back to my smart object remember everything that we do here when we save it it will be reflected on our main project here right so let's go ahead and just let me just start by turning on the bank logo that I want to use it's the Scotia Bank logo then I'm going to pick the red from it right I'm just clicking on the red over here picking to make sure that it's the exact same red then I'm just going to go down to my layer controls here create a solid color it's going to be the red obviously i'm not going to be able to see the scotia bank logo because it's the same red so i'm going to double click on the scotia bank logo to get my layer style options go to color overlay and then change it to white mine is already white but if yours isn't white you can just click this box and change the color to whatever it is you want right but white is what we want today so let's go ahead and click ok and here's a cool tip you can download brand assets, meaning official logos from these brands' websites. Scotiabank, you know, Google, um, Instagram, Facebook, they have their official logo pack that you can use because they want you guys to use them the right way, right? And they have all their brand guidelines, which are how to use them, and the brand assets, which are these cool, transparent vector, vector logos of their respective brands, right? So that's a cool little nugget for you guys. So let's go ahead and go back to our designing. And I want to make some guides, right? Let me go to view, new guide layout. And let me go ahead and just press OK. Why is there two guides here? That shouldn't be the case. Uh, it should only be one. 
all right that looks about right because i want my logo i want my not logo i want my design to be uniform right i don't want anything too close to the edge then i'm going to select the scotia bank logo and hit ctrl and t for my transform options and i'm just holding a corner clicking and dragging to size it down I'm just going to like place it right there right on the edge of that guy there then I'm going to turn on the Breezer logo, but because the background is red, I'm going to make the Breezer logo white. So I'm just going to double click on it, go to color overlay, click OK, because I want it white. I have the white version of this logo, but I didn't want to go out of Photoshop and drag in another file. So I'm just going to stick with this and let's just use that and because for this card, let's make it a Breezer debit, right? So let's go ahead and hit T4 text tool and write the word debit. Obviously that's too small. Let's make it white first of all, so it's visible. Then let's make it bigger, right? And let's make it, let's change it to Arial, something like generic. Arial narrow, let's change the tracking to about 200, maybe even 400. And let's just move it, oops. Let's just move it with our move tool by pressing V. Let's move it right beneath the visa, right? So it says visa debit. That way, when a cashier sees your credit, sees your card, and say, "Is it a credit or a debit card?" You can say, "It's right there on the card." <laughs> well, you shouldn't say that, but if you're saying that, you should be nice about it, right? But Visa debit, you can write credit if you want as well. Then I'm going to turn on my chip. I had brought in the chip as well. Control and T for it. I'm just going to size it up. The chip is normally in the center of the card, right? That way, you can insert it properly at POS machines, right? Or am I mistaken? I believe it's normally in the middle of the cards, right? Am I right? <laughs> and then next, I just want to um, write some text, right? A card has card numbers and names, right? So let me hit T for my text tool. Let me write some numbers, but I don't want this text. I want it to be the credit card fund. You know, you can download credit card funds for free online. And um, this is the one that I want to use. Let's write the name on the card. Let's say this is LearnShare's card, right? LearnShare photo video. Let me turn back down the tracking to zero. And I'm gonna duplicate this by hitting Control and J, then moving it up. And let's write the card number. It's normally 16 digits, right? So let's go one, two, three, four, zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine one two three right 16 digits right did you guys know that each type of credit card has its own number that it starts with visa cards start with four um master cards starts with five i think american express starts with three and discover discover cards start with six i think that's the that's the um the format <laughs> But I found that out a few years ago and my mind was blown, right? So this is the number for my card. I'm just starting it with a four because it's a visa. Let's try and do it semi-decent. <laughs> um, so that looks pretty good to me thus far. I'm not gonna do anything else. All I'm gonna do is just hit Control and S to save. Remember, I'm saving the smart object that will reflect in my main project, in my main mockup, right? So let's go back to the mockup and see what happened all right so there it is it's behind it i thought this was design two. Oh no it's design one it's fine i can just copy it when i'm done <laughs> so let me just go ahead and turn on the photo of toronto because social bank is a canadian company uh, let me hit ctrl and t for my transform options and just like size it up right and what i'm going to do is bring it about there um let me create a um, hue and saturation layer adjustment. Let me clip it to the image by right clicking on it and click create clipping mask and control and Z to undo that. So I went here, did hue and saturation. I got this layer option, layer style, and then I just went and right clicked and then I clicked create clipping mask. That way it's only affecting my image. Then I can just turn the saturation all the way down to minus 100. That way the image is black and white and then i can just like use my number pad to press like two i'm sorry <laughs> not that the number pad on the image to press like two to turn the opacity of the image down to 20 percent right Control and s to save then Control and semicolon to turn off my guides 
then I'm just gonna draw out some shapes. Let's hit U for my shape tool because I don't want it just to be a flat red and the image, right? So let me just go ahead and use my shape tool. Then I'm gonna go to my ellipse tool. You can right click on the shape tool to get the different shapes that you want. And I want an ellipse or a circle. I'm just gonna click and drag out an ellipse here, right? It's red. I'm gonna probably change it. Let me change it. To, um, let me change it to black. And then, why is it showing like that? Is it black? It looks a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, let me release clipping mask. Yeah, that looks better. And then, Control and J to duplicate it. Then let's move it over here. And then let's turn this one white. Double click on it. Change it to white. Let's turn the opacity down to about 30% by hitting 3 or maybe 20. Same thing for the black one. Click on it and hit 2 on my number pad to get it at 20% opacity. Hit Ctrl and S to save and that's all I'm going to be doing. Like literally that's all I'm going to be doing. So Ctrl and S to save. Then I'm just going to go back to my main mockup to see the changes take place, right? There it is looking pretty cool. Let me go ahead and just group all of this, right? Let's select everything in my layers, then hit Ctrl and G to group it. Let's call it, oops, let me put the background in the group. Let's call it Scotia Red Card, right? Ctrl and S to save. Then let me open the Your Design 2, this one, double click on the smart object it's like you're double clicking right here that little like folder icon there on the bottom right corner so what i'm going to do is turn off this go back to my first design copy this social card red Control and c to copy then i'm going to hit Control shift and v to paste it in the exact same coordinates exact same coordinates mean i want it to be pasted in the same position that way nothing shifts right so Control shift and v and there it is pasted in the same exact position, right? Then I'm gonna hit Ctrl and S to save this. Click OK, go back to our main mockup and there we have our two cards. But what I'm going to do for the bottom one, let me just change the color, right? Let me just change the color here to, let's just change it to like um, orange, no, not orange. Let me change it to blue and then hit Ctrl and S to save. That way we have two different color cards for our presentations <laughs> and uh, how cool is that obviously you can get as creative as you'd like but this is what i wanted to do today right really liking this so far what do you guys think for the purposes of this tutorial and what i can do next is i can go down to my background i can turn off the texture background and then i can change the color background because i believe i can replace the floor here but that's not what I want to do I just want to change this color here right I believe if I change yeah there I can just change the color right how cool is that and then if I zoom out you see I have a red card and a blue card from Scotia Bank <laughs> what do you guys think Control and S to save all that we've done here and that's all that I'm going to be doing for my credit and debit card design but before i go let me show you how to save this so you can post it on the internet right or add it to your portfolio you can go to file save a copy and then just save it as a png or jpeg and just upload it to your social media pages or on your website so that's it for our credit card slash debit card design and we could not have done these designs without this mock-up that we got from envato elements envato elements is the coolest and most content rich graphic asset websites for graphic designers like us right you guys have heard me speak about Envato elements countless time and from Envato elements you can get graphic templates such as this credit card mockup logo templates social media packs and much more and Envato elements has a 70 percent off discount that they want to give you guys all you have to do is click that link in this video description and they also have a new seven day trial that they want you guys to try out first to see if you like the service but i guarantee you you will like it so hit the first links in this video's description and grab that discount or try Envato elements for free thank you thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is c jam and i will see you guys in the next video